everybody, and welcome back to Poet Technologies channel. We have a special interview for you guys today as we dive into the product roadmap and the NASDAQ listing. Of course, sitting here with us to discuss this is Dr. Suresh Venkatesan. Doctor, are you ready to get into it? Absolutely. So first and foremost, talk to me about the product roadmap. Where are things sitting right now and what can people expect to see coming soon? Yeah, before we get into the product roadmap, I should say that, you know, we um, we're just coming off the heels of the OFC 2022 conference. It was a, a terrific conference for Poet. It was really the first time um, that Poet put, you know, a booth out. It had a presence. It had, you know, marketing associated with it. Uh, first time in the OFC. I mean, the previously we had done, you know, a, a, a big booth and not actually a booth, but a big presence at the CIOE conference in China. So in North America, for the first time, you know, Poet had a big presence at the OFC. And I think it exceeded all our expectations in terms of the number of customers that showed up, partners, suppliers, um, which is also a really important piece. You know, we talk about, you know, us getting customers, but, you know, we are also a customer to our suppliers and, you know, to, and, and they're a very, very critical part of us making our product function. And so having our presence in front of suppliers who then view us as viable and provide the additional support that we need, you know, all of that is really important. And, and so we had a terrific showing at the OFC and, um, you know, I had a presentation there um, that kind of walked through our uh, product roadmap and, which is pertinent to the question that you had. Um, for about the past, you know, two and a half years, Poet's been focused on developing its optical interposer as a platform technology that applies to multiple product segments. And we have largely deployed and have been, you know, showing application proofs on two aspects of our product roadmap platform. One is what we call a directly modulated laser platform. So these are uh, products that utilize commercially available directly modulated lasers. Um, there, uh, our applications are primarily 100 gig and 200 gig FR4, LR4. Um, both are multiplex standards. It's what Poet does best. We have the ability to in incorporate and integrate multiplexers, demultiplexers inside of our interposer. Um, so those have been, you know, that's where we've got our initial customer wins. And, you know, those are the ones that we're deploying. Samples have been provided to customers. We've taken the feedback, you know, iterated on the design. And we are in the process where what we call the beta phase. So this is, you know, the design freeze completed. And, you know, final production, pre-production runs of our interposer are going through our fabs. And, and to go back to customers with them as kind of the ones that we would take, take through qualification. So we're, um, while there's been some delays due to all the COVID stuff, because we've been a platform, we've been able to kind of pull our roadmap together around 100, 200, and 400. And we do have a lot of products in that mix that we're, you know, planning to put out, you know, 100 gig CWDM, 200 gig FR4, um, 100 gig LR4 in multiple form factors. and we released at the OFC the 400 gig receiver platform that is capable of both 400 and 800. And those got a lot of critical acclaim, you know, because we're the only chip scale integrated multiplexed uh, receiver out there. So that kind of sums up in a sense our uh, directly modulated laser portfolio. And we've got a CW laser portfolio that is really for like the next generation um, getting to 800 gig and beyond. And so, um, you know, those are the two fundamental products that we're putting out, you know, this year. And um, we're happy to have got the platform working in our advantage, right? The flip side, which is a good problem to have is there's a lot of demand for various products in our portfolio that we now have to take through um, beta and, and, and qualification. So it's, it's really a good time uh, for Poet. Um, the product portfolio is full. I mean, it's not just a one and done and a single shot. And, and I think the investments that we've put into creating a platform that is capable of being incorporated into multiple products, depending on customers' needs and utilization is really starting to pan out for us. 
Yeah, yeah. I would say uh, high demand is a good problem to have. And it sounds like you guys have a lot of products packed and it'll be an exciting year for the rest of the year. And I'm curious, I, I want to turn the attention to your guys' NASDAQ listing. Now, obviously, this was an exciting moment when you guys announced this. And now here we are. So first and foremost, how does it feel? And can you really hammer home the importance of it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, we've, we've been uh, on a journey in port, you know, which is to really create a company with a differentiated um you know, uh, thesis. And, and it's not just a differentiated thesis. It's a thesis of sustainable competitive differentiation. It's not one thing that you have a source of differentiation that goes away over time and then, then you know, you have nothing, right? The, the point is to, to create a platform, to create a company, to create an investment thesis around sustained competitive differentiation, which is kind of what we've been doing. It's been a journey. Um, you know, it, it's been building business fundamentals, business fundamentals associated with products and portfolio. We talked about this earlier, but really the technology, the strategy of uh, people are uh, critically important for our execution. Um, and then building the business model and the customer um, confidence. And, and that's really been the journey we've been at. And, you know, we feel at this point that we've got all of these fundamental building blocks to create a good, sustainable business and a good sustainable company and provide an investment thesis for the folks that you know are interested in the company from an investment perspective. So we've been through that journey. We feel like we're at the right spot now to expand our presence, right? And, and we believe that you know, listing on the NASDAQ is critically important for that. Uh, the NASDAQ is comprised of a lot of comps uh, of companies of our ilk um, as it relates to you know, small cap, medium cap companies. Um, the numbers of investors, the numbers of eyeballs on our company and our stock is multiple times what it was before. And, and we really think that this is the right time to do that, you know, fix the capital structure of the company to be something that's more amenable to attracting a broader investment base. And so our journey towards where we are today, you know, started several years ago. And, and we really think that we're now at the point of having the momentum behind us in terms of not just investors, but also customer interest, supplier interest um, that allows us to kind of feel a bit more confident uh, exposing the company to this much, much broader audience. And, and we think it's a great opportunity for us and the company. And it's a great opportunity for those who are looking at, you know, um, new upcoming technology companies that have a disruptive value proposition um, that they would like to be, you know, kind of a part of, uh, in, you know, at, at the, in the ground floor, for example, right? And, and we think that we're, we're poised for, for that kind of an acceleration. And, and so we think it's the right time and it's a terrific opportunity for us. It's a terrific top opportunity for everybody else. Yeah, yeah, very well said. I mean, you guys have, have been working hard, as you said, kind of kind of with your heads down, and now you're exposing the fruits of your labor to the world and sharing with everybody. So it's exciting to be here at this step of the journey. But Suresh, thank you so much for coming on, and thank you, everybody, for watching. If you guys have any questions for anybody on the team, uh, any last words, Suresh? No, uh, I mean, thank you for the opportunity, and and uh, it's it's been an exciting March 14th you know, a, 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 a historic day for the company. I mean, we've got several other milestones we want to hit, but, you know, it's really important to stop, reflect where we've been, reflect on the journey, and then, pat, you know, chart our course forward from here, and we're pretty excited about that. Wonderful. Very well said. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned for more coming soon, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.